Hi guys, I'm Cole with Sky High Helicopters here. So, now that we know how to work the helicopter and start it, um, we're going to come on to our, I would say, the, the hardest part, especially about learning how to fly, is going to be getting in that hover. That's a f that first initial pick up um, so that you're able to maneuver how you need to. And hovering is an, an, an essential part of flying here, and that's kind of the fir one of the first things that you're going to be learning. Uh, for me, it was one of the most difficult things that I was having to learn. I would say at least, it took me at least 20 hours to really hone down it and figure out how to hover because they're such fine, small movements. As With everything in flying, everything is fine and small, but especially when you're hovering, uh, and it changes a lot as the wind picks up. If you're in a tailwind, a crosswind, a headwind, it gets easier or harder as, one, as, uh, as, as those go. So uh, I'm just going to kind of demonstrate what it's like and what kind of talk about what I'm doing when I'm getting that hover. We're going to make sure we're clear here. And so I think we're in a little bit of a tailwind. It's pretty calm actually. So um, if anything, it's just a tiny, tiny tailwind. Um, so not a big deal at all. So make sure everything's working as it's supposed to here. We're seven Juliet Lima contact department. All right, so now on this first initial pick, I'm going to make sure everything's clear. All right, so I'm just going to kind of talk about what I'm doing here. So as we're picking up, I'm going to be looking out. I'm going to be watching my power gauge here at the bottom right. Tell me how much power I'm using. I'm going to add a little bit of left cyclic, just a tiny bit, um, and left pedal for some translating tendency right there. So we're adding a little bit of left pedal and a little bit of left cyclic for translating tendency. That's a tendency of the helicopter to go in the, in the direction of tail rotor thrust. So as we're coming up here, I'm picking up, I'm looking out, and I'm just gently pulling more power to get in there. Now, if you watch my right hand, this cyclic motion here, we're going to kind of get away from the fence here. So we're going to pick up, watch the movements that I'm doing, really fine, really small. Maybe a little left paddle, make sure everything's clear here. Clear, clear, clear. Kind of stuff her in a little bit of a uh, headwind here. And I'm just going to kind of sit here, just to kind of show you guys. So just, just watching my movements. Everything is really small, really small. Now, it's a calm day. I'm kind of in a headwind now, so making it pretty light. I'm not doing a whole lot, but a little bit of left pedal to stay straight. And just kind of hold, I'm, I'm pulling about 21 inches of power right now. Okay. And just not a whole lot of movement. Now, I can do big movements here. I can do big movements, but that's not what we're trying to do. Because we don't need to be making large inputs here. So, it's, everything is really fine, really smooth. Okay. So we're kind of now, we're over here in this location now. So a little, little different, I got about a, a, a right crosswind, so coming from the right here. Uh, I got that wind sock up there to tell me kind of what's going on. So I got a little more left pedal input right now. But as you can see, it's still a, a, not a lot of movements, right? We're just, I'm still pulling about 21 inches. That's what it's taking to keep me here. A little more left pedal is kind of what it is. But in the beginning, I'm gonna kind of point it. And it here. In the beginning, when I was figuring out how to hover, I would say um, a lot of what was going on, right, it, now I'm drifting and you know, so now I counteract and then I, I counteract and I, I, I do a lot of big movements, right? So you, you're going to start to drift one way and you got to counter that, but you don't want to counter too big because now you're going to do this little teeter-totter effect that's, that you're going to get out of control, especially when you're learning. So um, what you're really figuring out is that you're doing these really small inputs all the time, really small. And they're just, you're just kind of holding yourself here. Because uh, if you do nothing, right, I'm going to start to do nothing, it's going to start to move. Right? I'm, not, I'm doing absolutely nothing right now. Atlantic for exception 739. So, 739, you can make the left turn there at Broadway. i got to add a little left pedal, use it, just a little bit of left right click right now. And so if it starts to do something, like if it starts to come to right, I just do a little left, and I kind of balance it here. Right? We're still pulling pretty much the same amount of power. Hope that helps. Thanks, guys.